Hello there, ladies and gents. It is I, Mr. Emo Raccoon, back again with another video on this platform we call YouTube. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top five quality of life challenges I would like to see Rockstar add to GTA Online. Now I know a couple of you are probably going to see this video and think that this basically goes against the video I uploaded about a week ago saying that I want Rockstar Games to stop updating GTA Online. Well, let's be honest. We all know Rockstar Games are not going to stop updating GTA Online for at least another two years, I'd like to say. And we also know that because they're focusing on GTA 6, albeit not officially confirmed, we know that updates have been scaled down. Just look at the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC. A lot of people consider the DLC underwhelming because it was scaled down. But since it's they're scaling it down, Rockstar are deciding to do a lot more quality of life changes to their game. And I figured, why not make a top 5 on the top 5 quality of life changes that I would like to see be added to the game. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so starting off our top 5 list is going to be the ability to pick what cell mission you want on any business in GTA Online. With the most recent updates, we've seen that Rockstar have made a giant shift in making most, if not all, businesses very solo friendly. Because when they first came out, you kind of need at least two to three, sometimes four players to kind of get the business, get the ball kind of rolling, so to speak. Just because they're mainly meant for more than one player to tackle. That doesn't stop people from attempting these businesses solo, however, especially back in the day when we couldn't sell in invite-only lobbies. But with this dramatic shift in, you know, having the ability to do these missions solo, there are missions that only have one vehicle on all the businesses but because we don't have the ability to pick what cell mission we want they're always randomly generated for example a lot of people's favorite mission with the mc businesses i would you know wager has to be the pounder truck mission and the reason why is because it's on every business that i'm aware of it's most common on the weed sales, of course, because there's two different sales with it. There's the regular pounder and then the one where you have to take the client while he smokes a joint and you get disoriented because you're stoned while driving in the truck. But if you had the ability to pick which cell mission you wanted, it would make your life so much easier, especially because you can just pay a certain amount of money to have one vehicle and just deliver it and that's all you gotta do. Especially because if you're a solo player like myself and many other people who play GTA Online, you would love this a whole lot more since you don't have to waste so much time going back for multiple cell vehicles whenever you're trying to sell a full business. So with that being said, let's move on to number four. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so coming in at number four on this list is going to have to be the ability to call LJT to purchase supplies for our MC businesses. And the reason I put this one on the list as a quality of life change is because with the Los Santos Drug Wars update, we got a new contact called Mutt. And Mutt, although being the same person who runs the business just like your assistant and LJT and all those other people, he has one ability that LJT can't do. And that's the ability to call him over the phone to get supplies for your businesses. And you might say to yourself, well we already do have an ability to do all our businesses from one location. It's the master control terminal. And yes, while I do hear you comment section for, you know, reminding me about that, think about it like this. The master control terminal is one singular little area to buy supplies. And yes, while it's not the world's biggest inconvenience, because it is very helpful that you can just buy all of them in one location, you can't just call up your phone like you can with my anywhere on the map to purchase supplies for all your businesses. And that's why I think that in the future update, we should have this ability. So with that being said, let's move on to number three. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so coming in at number three on this list is going to be the ability to buy 10 of every single armor in the game. Now, with every Christmas update in GTA Online, or should I say Festive Surprise, Rockstar like to give out presents to GTA Online players every single year, and one of those presents is full armor for every player in the game. But something different compared to this full armor is that we get 10 of each variation of armor in the game, something that we cannot do normally. We have to pretty much wait every single New Year's or Christmas update to actually get every single armor maxed out at 10. And here's the thing that I have to ask. Why are we limited on the amount of armor that we can store if, again, Rockstar can give us 10 in the first place? And the only reason I want to complain about it for a minute is when this happens, I'm, you know, grateful for it, of course, but it does get kind of annoying when you either A, are trying to get rid of this armor because you just want to go back to having 10 super heavy armor, or you kind of forget how much armor you have because you're so comfortable with the amount of armor that you have. And like I said, when you have 10 
of any armor you can't buy anymore. So let's say you have like, you know, three regular heavy armor, six super heavy, and maybe five super light armor. You're not going to be able to buy any other variation of armor until you go under the number 10. Now, you can purchase multiple armors at one time, but it stacks up to a maximum of 10. That's why it's better if you just buy, you know, 10 super heavy armor because there's a max limit on it. But if there were 50, how this update, you know, gives us every time so we can get 10 of each armor in the game, I don't think people would complain as much. But anyway, let's move on to number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so coming in at number two on this list is going to be more storage space for the hangar. Now, this one is a big quality of life change that a ton of YouTubers and GTA Online players have complained about for a numerous amount of years because a lot of us, unlike myself, they like to have their personal aircraft and their Pegasus aircraft together. Now, I actually did a little bit of counting just to make sure, you know, I could actually, you know, at least figure out how much space we have left in the hangar. And from what I remember, I counted anywhere from 25 to 30. 30 personal aircrafts that have to be personal vehicles. They cannot be Pegasus vehicles because in some circumstances, the real reason why people are mainly complaining about it is they have a lot of personal aircrafts and not enough space for their few select Pegasus aircrafts like a Hydra or a Laser that they just, you know, want to have in their hangar just for ease of access. And I counted that the maximum space you can have if you put all, you know, small vehicles on the floor and then keep your medium and large vehicles in storage, you can only have a maximum of 32 slots. But you see what I'm saying? You have to be increment with how you place them because you have to put all small aircrafts on the main floor and put all your medium and large aircrafts into storage, which is already a problem. That already should tell you that we're running out of space if we have to think logically about how we're going to put, you know, our aircrafts in our hangar. Now, for some Someone like me who is not really a big aviation person like I collect aircrafts in GTA Online if they're good helpful or have a specific purpose this one isn't the biggest deal to me because I already don't own a lot of aircrafts and the few that I do own I own for very specific reasons but I do know that a lot of people including a ton of people on my friends list want this change so hopefully soon we'll get this added into the game all right, so coming in at number one on our top five list of quality of life changes, we have allow us to register more than 10 players in a lobby as CEOs or MCs. Now, out of everything on this list that we've talked about so far, this is the biggest complaint I have seen from a variety of people, from people on my friends list who are grinders to people who are even PvP players. This is the number one thing that we all complain about for a variety of different reasons. And for the most part, it doesn't make any sense to us personally because at the end of the day why is there a limit especially since we're on next gen versions well i have a theory as to why that is and you might say it's a stupid theory but hear me out it does make a little bit of sense Minus the fact that Rockstar is lazy when it comes to certain things they will or will not change in GTA Online, I think the reason that they won't add more space for people to register as CEOs is not a hardware limitations thing. It's a they're too lazy to make new CEO and MC colors thing. If you look in the clip that we have in the background showing this, you'll notice that all the CEOs and MCs of all the colors that they have in the game. There's no other variation of those colors in the game whatsoever apart from a blank white when it comes to the game not being able to load a color right when you register but here's the thing I think that they need to make at least a few or at least enough colors so that we can have around 30 players in a lobby and if not so then just reuse a different variation of a color that's noticeably you know different enough that it's not gonna merge because the problem right now is the red color that they have for CEOs is not in my opinion a true red it's more like a mix of red and pink and they can kind of clash with one another because if you'll notice that red and pink they almost kind of look similar now that might be just a personal thing for me but if they don't want to have them clash then make colors that are different enough or at least add colors that you know are vibrant enough and different enough so that people can be CEOs and MCs in the lobby because it's one of the biggest complaints I have whenever I want to do you know public lobby sales just so I can you know make a lot of money from businesses and we either have to wait for somebody to leave and unregister which nine out of ten times doesn't happen or we need to find another lobby and that's why I believe that at number one the ability to register as more than 10 CEOs or MCs is the number one quality of life change I want in GTA Online. 
But with that being said, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you did like this video, make sure to like and share. And if you do share the sympathy with this, why not tweet this stuff out to Rockstar or even just put it on their feedback page? Maybe if enough people tweet this and write at Rockstar about it, maybe they will actually change it. We can get these, you know, changes coming out in the June summer update this year. But with all that being said, this has been Mr. Emo Raccoon, and I will see you guys next time.